Greetings, everybody. This is DJ Adams there one time coming to you from Tangle Grid. That's right, the home of Tangle TV with the wonderful, most beautiful Leslie Kling. That's right. And she has come on here to tell us all the really cool things about this wonderful grid, plus all the secrets and what's going on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, say hi to everybody there, Leslie. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tangle. <laughs> all right. You know, I have some questions for you, and let's get started. Oh. <laughs> Leslie, when you're afraid. When you're did afraid. You... <laughs> <laughs> when did you start actually doing the virtual worlds? Oh, I've been in SL, and then we moved over to in worlds. We did a little bit of OS, and. And then we decided that, you know, why pay everybody else when we can do it ourselves? And uh, we grabbed the servers, and maybe we go with Tango Grid. So, wow, isn't that neat? That is great. I, I think that's – I remember you over in that other grid. I don't, I don't use those people's names. I never well, will. Uh, <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> that's just something we don't talk about. Uh, so uh, – You've been had you've had a partner now for quite a long time. Yes, Mr. Gary Kling. Mr. Gary Kling, and uh, could you uh, elaborate on how you met him? Uh, I was actually in SL doing a uh, region rebuild. Yeah, I was brand new, so I had to do some uh, learning real quick because a friend of mine he had a country and western region, but he didn't know how to go about building it all up. So I said, "Well, you know, I'm new, but I'll do my best." And then uh, he took a look at it and said, hmm, you may need some help. So he brought in a team, and Gary was on the team uh, to redo what I did. Well, not redo it, but just fix it all up so it looked right because textures were crooked and walls were not straight and that sort of thing. And we got talking, and uh, I was also DJing at the time, so he used to come to my DJ sets at the western place there. And uh, we started talking, and then next thing you know, he says, uh, Will you marry me? I went, hello. I just see you around. But he hung around, hung around, and finally I said, yes, we got married, and we've been together about four years, almost five now. Wow. Isn't that great? Oh, man. Virtual. That is not it. Yeah, well, I understand virtual. that. And mm. so what is the big secret? How do you guys do it? I see people get married on and off, and uh, – What's your big secret? Does, I mean, I mean, does he does he have like a garage <laughs> that he goes and hangs out with, or what? <laughs> no, it's more that we we have a the biggest issue with me and him is we're both strong headed, both uh, with a dominant personality kind of thing, but he, we compromise, we talk, we communicate, and we also have a lot of things in common, so that does help as well. We're both builders. Uh, we both uh, enjoy country music, that sort of thing. So it it helps if your partner is in the same mindset as you are. If you have one that's kind of like into a whole one of the whack of other stuff and you're not into it, then your your interests grow apart and you grow apart. It's just pretty simple. And if you don't communicate, if something's wrong or that sort of thing, then you also have a problem because communication is a big deal. You need to talk to each other. You need to open up. and. But so many people get stung in SL or that other big place, if you will, that you don't – the trust is not there. And, and I don't know about most people, but I'm very cautious and very careful who I hang out with kind of thing because I don't like to get hurt. And I have been hurt in the past with people lying to me that they're dying and all this stuff, and you feel sorry for them and find out they're just full of it. And uh, so I, I'm very cautious, and Gary's been very patient, and mm, it's all worked out pretty well. So I'm glad you bring that up. Uh, the uh, the thing about the person dying, I, I I know exactly what you're talking about, and I'll tell you the truth: zero one time TVs doesn't even like to go that stuff. We do like to expose that stuff though. <laughs> <laughs> and we have ways of doing that. And, 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 and it, guys, it's not a secret. It's not a secret how we do it. We do it just by talk, going right to the right to the person and saying, hey, you know, you're full of it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I that want, hurts. You know, you, if, if you're the kind of personality I am where I'm very passionate about mm-hmm. people and caring and want to be there to help, and you, you know, you know oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I can't do this because of this and that. I don't know. I just, I guess, stunk many times. I don't let that influence how I treat people. I still give my 100% to help them out. But you mess with me once, you might fool me twice, but you don't get me the third time kind of thing. And then, and if I don't like somebody, I don't go around trashing them either. I just, I just avoid them. Just leave. Oh, I, drama! I, I can live without. I know that. I remember. <laughs> well, I remember going to work for you. You know, I went in there, and it was so weird to me because you know you had this cool system, and it worked so good for you, and it was like so different for me. And I was like, oh god, it was just starting, and I was like, you're like, get out of here, you're no good. And I'm like, no, I really am. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> mm-hmm. But. uh I understand that. When people say, hey, you know, I don't want to be around you in this world, any world, don't do it. Don't hang around them. You know, I mean, th- that is a note. You know, that is something people are saying, hey, you know, I don't want to hit the mute button. I don't want to hit the block button. Say, no. hey, you know, don't be around me. And I'm like, poof, I'm gone. That's one less, you know, conversation I need to do. Exactly. Exactly. So let me ask you, what is your favorite viewer? Unfortunately, my fun, my favorite viewer is Reflex, and I say unfortunately because they have now dropped the project, and it's identical pretty well to Singularity. But I'm finding that with Reflex, you have a little bit more flexibility. It doesn't lock up as often. But all viewers are based on the computer that is running off of, or your internet connections and all that other good stuff. So every viewer has its Goods and bads, depending on who you are and what your systems are and your, the grid you're in, uh, that sort of thing. Like we were discussing before when we came in here, it's a little slow to res, but that is because I've got nine regions back side by each. So what happens is the viewer has to try to draw all that information in. But if you're willing to wait that few extra minutes, and again, it depends on your computer systems and your internet connections, but... Pretty well, Reflex so far has treated us pretty good. But like I said, they've dropped the project now, which is a shame. Now, well, You know what I might do for you? I might go and just grab their code and, 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 and fix it up for you. Heck, if you like it that much. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, a lot of times, in order to keep up with the gang, the, with the, uh, the Snowstorm gang, you're going to have to upgrade your operating system and your computer. Uh, there's no doubt that if you came into the in-worlds, uh, you know, into SL or whatever it is, back, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, five years ago, and you were using a computer that was mid-range, uh, graphics and stuff like that, it, it's mm-hmm. not going to, it's not going to run that program today. It really isn't. No, it, no, not so by far, no. It, it, it is about the hardware. And, yeah. and, and it is a gamer's game. A lot of people don't know that. Well, hey, I can play shoot in this game that's that's a killer you and I, at full 1080p and all this stuff. And I go, well, that's different because those are set textures that can be mm-hmm. actually pulled into RAM and used, whereas yeah. in a viewer, it's constantly being bombarded yeah. with textures. It's it's a exactly. whole different ball game. It's a whole yeah. different ball game. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate because a lot of people that are in these games are either people on fixed income. Or uh, handicapped, and this is their only way of escape or get into real life as, well, not real life, but they come in here, they make friends, they want to get around, people in wheelchairs can dance uh, or do things that they cannot do in our real life. And it's unfortunate that the, the games and the viewers, like, I think that's why some people are still using the old imprudence because that's basically all they can run with. Because they can't afford to go out and buy these computers to keep updated, to keep up with like places like SL. Well, I'll be honest. Any other? I'll be honest. I mean, to be honest with you with this, I uh, if people would just not go to your local store and buy a computer, you'll be fine. And you, want, I guarantee you, for for under five hundred dollars, I 
you know, if that's too much money, I understand that, but well under $500, you probably around $400 today. You can have a decent computer built shipped to your house that will run every virtual world just fine. And, oh, agreed, agreed. And, and, but, you know, I understand that. When somebody says, hey, you know, my budget's limited to a couple hundred dollars, I would say, well, then go find yourself a hundred dollar computer and put a, put a hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> uh, graphics card in it. That's the only way you're going to do it. Mm-hmm. It's the graphics card. And mine's still not good enough. You know, I have an older, I mean, I, I have a, I have a mid range one and, and I, I struggle sometimes. So I understand. I understand. Santa Claus, maybe Santa Claus will get me that new GTX, you know, nine something and I'll be happy, but who knows? <laughs> you mean, uh, wish of that, are you? Right. Okay. Here, yeah, Santa. I got so, this for you. Uh, do you. Do you remember the first time you turned, you were Ruth? You know, I mean, do you remember your oh, first res? Yeah. Oh, I still first got it in my inventory in that second life. Oh, I still have it there. I came in as a elf. Pointy ears, long hair, my. long coat. I came into a great big white hotel of some sort. I'm not quite sure what it was. Mm. Lucky for me, my son was an SL every two years, so real life son. So I got past a lot of that, but it he never explained to me how to change things. I ran around with pointy ears because I didn't know how to change the, the shapes and stuff. I got different hair and all that stuff. My clothes figured out. But I had to have long hair that made sure to cover these pointy ears because I had no clue how to get rid of them. Eventually I did, a year later. But you've seen some of my older pictures when I was DJing when I first got there. My goodness. What is wrong with that woman? She looks like an elf. But <laughs> so pasty uh, skin, the whole nine yards. So this grid here, uh, mm-hmm. your money system is being handled by which company, your currency? Uh, Are you uh, Warbox or what do they call it? Warbox? No, 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 no. We tried that at the very huh. beginning, but there was a four-day layover or a week before you even seen any money in the world, and we thought that was kind of silly. If people want to buy something, they want to buy it now. They don't want to buy it a week from now. But that could have been just the way we set it up because we didn't have the terminals. We had go to the web page and come in and buy it and then wait four days or five days or whatever it is, and then... Then your money would come in a world kind of thing. So we went back to the PayPal system. And you get your monies through the website, which automatically updates your account in world. So. Oh, great. Sure. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's fantastic. So it's your own currency then. It's yeah, your own currency. Might. Well, great. Great. it's, it's yeah. modular, but I, I think it's DS something, something, something. Uh, I'm not the tech person. I'm just the pretty face behind the camera kind of thing. <laughs> A uh, smiley the face. If in your case, you're the talking head, but I'm the smiley face kind of thing. But, uh, well, my tech guy deals with all that. One of the main stuff. reasons why I stay here in Tangle was because of the ability for me to bring people, you know, from another grid in. And I noticed that I uh, the other day I said, "Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport in from uh, Worldcraft, uh, Craft World." And, 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 oh wow, I, I was able to do that. I came through your hyper, your little hyper gate area there, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, I says, wow, I can, I can bring my friends in here now and, w- and we can like have tape parties, man. We have masking tape everywhere. I don't know, but you know, I thought, <laughs> you know, it would, uh, I, I, I think, I think that's a great thing. Could you, uh, elaborate on the ability to hyper gate around here? Yes. Well, what we've done is we made a main way station, and the reason for that is to kind of control who is coming and going out. No secrets being told on that part of it. But it takes you to the expo, and then from the expo, you basically, well, you can actually go anywhere you want on the grid by map hopping, I'm assuming. I, I'm not a big hyper gear, and not because I don't want to. I just haven't seen the need for it yet. Mm-hmm. But um, there are limitations, and we are looking at making it so that you can bring stuff in, but you can't stay, take stuff out. Right now, you can't take stuff in or out because we are a commercial grid. So we do want to protect our creators and our, uh, you know, we don't, there's no way in heck that you can actually stop copy botters. I don't care if you're SL. I don't care if you're whatever. The copy botter is going to find his way in. But we'd like to 
to give that little bit of security that you can't just come in and come and come and come and go when you feel like it. Well, you can, but you can't take things. But we were discussing this the other day, and the reason is we're thinking about opening it coming in is because we want creators to come in and show their wares at our expo. We also like that people come and see our regions. We spend hours and weeks on our regions, the the amusement ones, like we have two regions that are full of, uh, I don't know, games, like you go on rides and like a circus, if you will. I don't know what the other word is for it. Fair, circus. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's know, a fair kind of circus. Uh, sure. It's, uh, the, uh, we have King Kingdom, which is for, it's a mega region with all medieval uh, things, that sort of thing. Like a real showpiece of people. You can walk around and see all the medieval with castles and all that stuff. But we, can, our, we don't want to limit it to it to just our residents. We want everybody who wants to come in and take a look around to be able to do such. But we are looking at opening it, coming through the other way, like bringing stuff in so that they can drop things at the expo and show their wares. And we're allowing them to say, okay, the creator, you know, the guy puts stuff out, and then they can put a landmark or a sign, giver or whatever, saying you can buy this at Kitely or you can – our main stores on this particular grid if you want to purchase or get a hold of us like this if you want this in your grid so that they can sell their wares. Um, we're not wow, – just the what? only thing I don't want is things like our grid is better. I don't want to see signs like that, no. But if you want to say, yeah, you can buy this item on Kitely or something like that, power to them. You want to know what? I sit down. Uh, at least three times a week and look through the code of the viewers, the Mm -hmm. Firestorm viewer, the Second Life viewer, the Kokua viewer. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) people go, which viewer is better? I'll tell them the the fact is uh, it's the viewer designed for your grid. The Second Life viewer blows away any grid or any any viewer out there. People say, oh, you're crazy. I'm like, no, it's it's an unfair race because they they have the code to the grid and they have the code to their viewer. (laughs) They got the divas. They they have it. We're talking in the millions and millions of dollars per month that they put in their pockets. If you're talking about usability, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've Mm -hmm. got some great shortcuts in Firestorm. They've got some great shortcuts in in a lot. Koku is a wonderful viewer. I think, you know, Nikki. Nikki Peran, is it Nikki? Nikki Peran yeah. just does a great job over there. Yeah, she's and, on the ball. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as there one time, you know, I, I snuck in over to one of your customers' places and started to show. I thought it was great. It was during the Ferguson time. I saw a police station, and I said, "Hey, this is cool. I want to do my show from a police station talking about Ferguson, uh, Missouri, <laughs> as as the real life section, you know, mm-hmm. and." Uh, you know that first show uh, was put on YouTube. It lasted about 35 minutes, and it had to be taken down because I used real life stuff. And and I and I'll do respect to the Quran Journal. You know, I didn't know that. You know uh, mm-hmm. that I could not use anything real life if if I wanted to be associated with the Quran Journal. And I went Why? I immediately pulled that video and pulled any logo off of it. And I had to rewatermark it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and then boom, put it back out there. But uh, that's how I ended up here. Uh, it, it has. There was nobody said, "Hey, come here, do this." That's. that's I. Uh, I actually saw that you were the owner of the grid, and I said, "You know what?" A while back, uh, when I guess when a grid started, I said it was a little bit. I had a little problems. I think it was another grid that you started, and uh, I had a little problems. I, I, I couldn't navigate well, and uh, and I came back here, and the first thing I said to you, "Hey, this platform works pretty good." So tell me about your platform. Boy, that was a long-winded way to get to that. <laughs> uh, uh, with this open sim, how do you handle your upgrades? That, we'll use that question. We always test everything to death before we implement another upgrade. And reason being is that every time someone builds something, it breaks something. And when we put this online to the main grid, we always make sure, 100% sure, that it's going to work. Everything. Right now we are have, trying to go to 8.1. We are finding some issues with that. So it will not come live until we can fi- figure out how to get around those issues. But that's for the divas to figure out. 
uh, we are still running 7.6, and because everything works. We would like to go to 8.1, but like I said, unless they can make it so we have no issues whatsoever, then 8.1 will be on the shelf. We're not, we're working on it right at the moment, actually. We uh, have a sister region, or sister grid, I should say, that we're implementing it on. It's not open yet. It's brand new because of past issues with Tango OS. We have decided to rename it and call it Westworld Grid. It's a Western theme to start off with. It doesn't mean you have to be Western. It's just when you land, you definitely know you're in a Western village. But we do all our testing through that, and we get the feedback from the people who hook up. It's an OS-based, so meaning you hook up your grid to it. And we get feedback from the people that are hooked up. Okay, what are you finding uh, being an issue? Um, is this working? Is that working? If they, everything is 100% okay, everything's working, then we implement it into Tangle Grid. It's more like a test grid, but it's not uh, because we don't want like I said, we want to make sure that everything is working 100% for residents because this is a closed grid. People do pay for the regions, and we want to give the best service we can to make sure that they're getting their bang for their buck, if you will. If you can't TP to your region because we did the wrong upgrade, then you're going to move on. It's as simple as that. So a grid that can give you that 100% for oh. your money. Exactly. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> what is your, uh, I mean, obviously, you would, you know, everybody says, hey, you know what, come to my grid. Uh, the reason is, is, is that, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot to, it takes a lot to maintain a grid. You know that. Yes. I know that. Very much so. And, you know what, I thought about doing what you did one time. And, you know, I have my little standalone on the computer, you know, I'll pull the code and I'll, you know, play with it and uh, build it and see how it works. And uh, I started doing the database part of it and everything. I said, you know, this is crazy hard. I'm not, I'm going to go visit somebody <laughs> else's. You know, I mean, I like playing with it. It's, it's, it's oh, not a fight. Oh, you you can't be faint to heart. No, Every day is a new issue. Every day is so, something. Uh, so uh, w w I'm going to ask you, who hosts Tangle? Who ho who's hosting Tangle? We host our own. So we have uh, six real servers. I'm not talking about uh, PCs in a corner somewhere. I'm talking real life servers. You can see it on our, I think it's on our about page, the picture of them, what is in them, the X, everything. Let me see. Uh, it will give you that information so you may put it in later. Yeah, yeah. It's, Just go ahead and I'll, I'll put it in later. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, and it's actual servers. Uh, you have a lot of home uh, home PCs that are running grids and power to them. Right. We, and, but no, ours are, are actual actual servers, Dell or whatever they are. Uh, again, not the tech person. So. How do you feel about the numbers came out this uh, this month? Uh, and you'll see on the show that I was just in, uh, Maria over at Hypergrid Business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I find her to be a very honest person. Uh, so and far, I haven't had any issues. When she no? told me that uh, that the uh, closed grid, uh, that one that I don't talk about, mm -hmm. lost 795 users. Wow. And Aviation lost a whole bunch too. Yeah, I heard. To the open, to the open world, mm -hmm. and and it's because the ability to hypergate. I really think it's the big ability. I think that's the craze. Uh, At the you know, moment, yeah. I think yeah. that's what it is, and I think mm -hmm. if you're not capturing that moment in the very fast pace, I so you're gonna it, lose out. I think yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I, I noticed. Uh, I did a video of of, uh, of Tangle uh, mm -hmm. a couple days ago. I found a really cool place called Sunset, mm -hmm. the big microscope. By yes. the way, uh, <laughs> by the way, guy, you can have that chair. I left it there so you can you can sit. Uh, here. It's a female, actually. But she. I yeah. see that we have a lot of wonderful females in here. I love being male in world. It's great. Well, not when you're a female DJ. Nine times, nine times out of ten, I got only males standing there. And I keep saying, "Come on, ladies, jeez, I'll share." So I got no tell problem me. sharing. 
What are you, what are you using for software to, to DJ with? Because you know I'm open source, and I think my stuff's better than the other guys. You know how that is. Mm-hmm. So uh, what do you use to DJ with? I've been using Sam forever. Using Sam. Okay, sure. You're used yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah, I look at Sam, and, and I say, hey, it works. It works fine. You know, if on Windows, it works great. I look at it. It looks like something that I would use maybe 10 or 15 years ago, but... It it works. The well, interface. They keep upgrading. They keep yeah, upgrading. Yeah, yeah. Getting to the getting with the getting with the flu. Well, remember I'm open source, so remember yeah. my stuff's always better. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know why, Leslie? Here's the reason why. You know why your sim is better is because you built it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You took the time and care to build it and understand it, and that's what open source is about. That I can take that code. And 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 build it, it and, and, and now it becomes it, yeah. it becomes intimate. Each program that I run, it becomes intimate. That was time that I put into it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you, you know, I understand where you come from with that. You know, it's like you and your grid. So that's what, and I think that's the whole open source community in the open sim. I think that's what's going on because people are becoming part of the, you know. I mean, how many people own a region in SL? You know, it was very expensive. Uh, 200 to 300, no, is it 300 yeah. to 375 per region? That's rented. That's not even private owned. I think then the price is now up to 700 for a privately owned region in SL. It's, it's, like it's up there. It's insane, man. Jeez. I know. Uh, I'm with you. So I, and I'm sure they're they're hurting on that. I understand you can get them for a lot less, but they're not mm-hmm. commercial. You know that. And I know that. No, no. Mainland stuff, maybe. I have no idea. I, I, I do. I still enjoy Second Life. I don't put Second Life down. Linden Labs, uh, the reason I don't is because I've never had Linden Labs ever res on my land and tell me how to play their game. Well, I had it once, but that was my own fault. I Actually, we used to play this game, me and this other clown. <laughs> we used to eject each other, seriously eject each other. Is it like a peekaboo game kind of thing? Well, one of the Lindens showed up, got your hands on Gary because he actually, his name was on the land. I said, could you tell me what's going on here? Why are people being ejected left, right, and center every five seconds? What's going on over here? Gary said, oh, it's just those two playing a game where they eject each other. Could you tell them to stop that because our servers are going nuts? So, <laughs> oh, stop. wow. Are you two? I thought I was Dennis the Menace, the bad boy. Oh, I was oh, boy. bad. Um, you know, I tell you this story so. quick. Uh, I got banned from Sweethearts over there uh, in Second Life, and it was like, it was the, it was, you know, people don't know this, but one day out of every year, Second Life has to say no transactions. We're getting ready to do our taxes. Is what mm-hmm. this is our end date, and they actually shut down everything. And so here I am trying to tip this person. I'm trying to tip them real quick, you know, and and uh, and nothing, no tips are going through, and I'll, you know, and. Uh, Finally, I just tip them directly, and what I am is I'm tipping the owner's wife, who is an alt. You know, she's a host alt, and she's like, you know, you're not supposed to tip that way. You're supposed to tip through the thing here, and I'm like, why? She goes, because it's percentaged out. I said, you know, I really don't care where my money goes. It goes to the person, all right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's between you and however you guys want to set it, but next thing you know, the sim starts to crash, you know, go slow. Everybody starts to freeze. Well, that's Linden Labs freezing. You know what? They banned me. They said I crashed their sim. Oh. And oh yeah, and I oh I, you know it took forever for Linden Labs to come out and say, look, we were freezing everybody that night. You know, uh, but they still did. They ever release you? Oh uh, no, but you know what? They will this week. Uh, they will next week because I have a huge wedding thing going on, and I'm videoing it. I love that. And so uh, <laughs> trust me, you know they're not going to throw away a hundred dollars worth of weddings stuff for. Uh, for uh, for for their own ignorance, all right? They're not. Uh, what what can you say? It was just an ignorant move, and they're paranoid, and uh, uh, it's not the same owners anymore. So oh, wow. yeah, it's a different story. Yeah. Still on the ban list, though. I tested it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you hear this crunch. And then you wipe yourself off. Okay, that ain't working. <laughs> That's something I miss is when you fall from two thousand meters up, you get that thunk. When you hit the ground, <laughs> I kind of miss that. Do you? Do you? Open Sim should consider that as part of their code. When you hit the ground, the avatar goes thump or bounces just a little bit, so you kind of get that realistic. Oh, oh, I do the wrong step. So, uh, I, I'm going to ask you about fashion. Sure. 
uh, is there any plans to have uh, to turn to have fashion? I the, have fashion in uh, this uh, this grid. Tangle is Tangle going to have fashion? I mean, do mean when I say fashion <laughs> per se, like what they do in Second Life? We fashion. will have we do have a fashion expo coming up. Yes, again, it's uh, bring your wares, show what you got, kind of thing. We might make a contest of it because see, it seems like fashion is a big thing. I don't care what grid you're on; it seems like that's the main attraction. Is fashion? If you're not going to learn how to play dolls, then you know what? Don't even come into the world. Well, uh, I'm not a I'm not a fashion <laughs> person. I am, you know, wear the same clothes for two or three days, kind of thing. I'm not this like SL where people change your clothes and fly. You know, <laughs> good gravy. And then you show up naked and you go, wonder what happened there. Hmm. You might let the server catch up with your changing of clothes. Hello. (laughs) But, yeah, we are having a fashion show, and, again, we will give you the poster and the dates and times and who to contact. I don't know. I've got that somewhere. I don't know if this shouldn't show up on your screen. but It'll it'll, it'll, it'll happen. Uh, Actually, I have a person that's going to be handling this. And, And when you do fashion, actually, I'm bringing in a fashion team. Of one right now, uh, she was uh, she wasn't the winner of of Miss Virtual World, but mm-hmm. I talked to her and she didn't make the top ten. I didn't she make the top ten. So, but uh, she's a wonderful person, and mm-hmm. she uh, I says hey, and she's also a wonderful blogger. I says hey, you know I really need somebody that understands the fashion world to come into Open Sim with me and and, and do a uh, do a segment on the show. And so when she does and she gets squared away and she's not afraid of hypergating, uh, I would more than happy send her your direction, okay? And I yeah. Think, and I think that would help you out. Okay, and the Fashion Expo is from May 2nd to the 16th in 2015. It's hypergate active, which means you can come in with your hypergators and whatever else you want to do. If you want to participate in that, you can email uh, Peter at uh, expo at tanglegrid.com and tell him, okay, I want to get in on the uh, fashion show and, and he'll set you all up. He'll email you back and forth and get you all set up with a booth and anything you need. Uh, I'm going to probably do a runway and see if I can find the poses to do a runway fashion, which I think would be nice because what's a fashion show without fashion runways and stuff like that? Right, exactly. Uh, uh, we've built quite a few of those. Uh, I don't do them no more, but I do know poses. The, the, if you want, if you want a model, you're gonna need poses. You need skins. Mm-hmm. You're gonna need eyelashes. You gotta have eyelashes and makeup. So it's those yeah. are the things that have gotta happen. And and prim hair. People say, what do you mean prim hair? Yeah, prim hair or mesh hair. It's stuff something that doesn't move because the models don't want their hair going through their body. You know, it's one of those things. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if we can, we have a few people that are have worked with fashion. Like I said, I'm not one of them. I'm more of a tech slash builder slash texture. I don't get into the whole fashion thing, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy looking at it or seeing what things people are up to. And okay. Every once in a while, I buy a nice outfit, you know, mostly in gowns because I'm a ballroom dancer as well. When there's to be had, but. The four hundred dollar question. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, adult grids. Uh, uh, Tangle, is it adult? Is it adult? Tell me about. Tell me about Tangle's adult grid. If they are adult grid, or what's your rating system? Okay, how it works is if you want to come in here and put up an adult sim, adult, if you will, we will put it up for you, but you have to have it posted everywhere but loose. Where the, this is an adult region, uh, we do not have age verification turned on, and if we right now have no adult sims, so if one comes in and says, "Okay, I want to put up a Gore, or I want to put up a BSM, or whatever they call that, or they want to put up a strip clubs or whatever," we have no issue with it, but we will ask them to make sure that they make it very clear that they are an adult region. And I think in the viewer you can turn the age fair 18 verification button, but I would get bounced because it really does. We have no way of checking identification like you do in SL where you have to have passports and all that other good stuff. I don't think there is an open sim grid out there that has that turned on 
per se or now, there any is. way to – yeah? There is. There is. Uh, it's, it's craft world, and trust me, you, you hit the nail on the head. I love craft world. I go there every day. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right off the bat that a lot of the people that come here come through craft world, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, they do because it's really cool stuff. They do have an age verification, and again, like I said, it is pretty much you go into your account and you turn it on, okay? Mm-hmm. So uh, it's good for mommy and daddy uh, in real life world in order to control that person. It's up to mommy and daddy to control that. Uh, th- yeah, that's what but I've had, I've had teenagers get their hands on mommy and daddy's verifications and still sneak in. There is never really a hundred percent. I don't care who, what grid you are, 100% way of actually stopping anything. You know, really. But we will do our very best. If we, you know, if I have a conversation with one and I kind of got the feeling by the conversation that this person is not uh, old enough, because you can't tell by the way they talk that if it's a child or not, because they, they can't help themselves the way they speak, then I will say, um, hmm. But we do have child avatars pop in. We do have all that stuff. And we also are very clear about the rules on that. We don't want, if it's a child avatar, you obey by the rules or you're gone. Simple. I, uh, uh, I, you know, everybody knows my take on this. This is a computer screen in front of me, and I'd never, ever go any farther. I don't know, let anybody mess with my world and my, my real life game, but this is a computer screen. Uh, until you bring something uh, physically illegal, such as, you know, kitty porn or something like that, mm-hmm. something that is absolutely illegal onto that server, uh, I, I myself say, hey, it's games open. Just remember, it says a chat room. If you don't act right, if you're not acting to the norm, guess what? They got an eject button, and that eject button means get out of my chat room. This is a 3D chat room whether people know it or not. It's a chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but we will do our very best. Like when every time a region goes up, we do take a pop over, if you will. If I see things on the screen that are a little bit uh, hollow, like child pornography and that, I will toss that sucker in a heartbeat. Right. You know, I, there's a time and a place for everything, Adam, and yeah. I think that there's enough of that crap in RL that you should be somehow or some way be able to control that within the v, the virtual worlds. I don't know how yet, and if I ever find out how, then I'm going to use it. I've, I know that in SL there's a rape street. Like, come on. And people go there just to watch that sort of crap. Oops, I'm busted. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, we were in the adults, and we were probably put on the outskirts of the grid, so it doesn't really show up on the main map unless you go looking for it. So, you know, little little things like that. Just And I will tell the person that bought the adult, you know, region, look, we are do have youngins coming in. I don't know how our youngest one is, if it's 25 at the moment. But we're going to put you on the outskirts so that's not the first thing when you open up the big map is see your region. And we will ask you to put up signs. And if you feel that there's someone on there and we find out you know that there's someone on there that's underage and you did nothing about it, then we will have a talk. But normally, I say 99.9% of the time, we let you do what you got to do. If you want a Gorian Sim, fine. Be a Gorian Sim, but do not bring it to my pi- my my uh, um, mature or less Sims, PG Sims. I don't want to see naked people running around this TV station. For example. Right, right, right. And and I, I agree. It's a chat room. This is my chat room right now. If you came in here and you're not acting normal, then I, I think I have the right to ask you to leave. Yes. And, 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 and I don't want you – you're never going to be able to stop a jerk. You're not going to no. be able to stop it. But I will tell people, don't waste your time complaining to a grid owner about somebody abusing you. Use the tools in the viewer. Just use that. Mm-hmm. After yeah. the tools in the viewer are, are, are able to be used – then, then go to them. Yeah, I, I, I'm asking. You, I ask this: How do you handle? 
uh, I know how you handled me, <laughs> but I really want to know how how do you keep so neutral? I, I mean, that's one of the big things I love about you, Leslie. You don't get in people's business. I love it, and you've had so many chances here this last few weeks to, to be able to step in and say something, and you didn't say a word. And I really praise you on that, by the way. I just think you did a great job of handling some situations. How do you do it? Um, just know by talking just adds fuel to the fire. You know what I'm saying? If I were to comment on any stuff that I will stick up for Tango Grid if it's absolute, I'm 100% bull. I will say, excuse me, but this is not true. And in a professional way, I'm not going to yell and scream and call everybody but a white person, if you know what I'm saying. I'll say, you know, that's not true. This is the true statement. Take it or leave it. But if it's something I feel that just by talking can just add fuel to the fire, it's not worth it. Really isn't worth it. Because a lot of people love to base their lives on drama. I can't be bothered. I got other things to do. I got buildings to build. I got grid to run. I don't have time to sit 24 hours a day in a chat room and say, hey, that's not right. And you're full of crap and blah, 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 blah. I'll leave it up to the pros to figure it all out. But I do will, I do, and I will step in if it's a bunch of bull. Like completely I, off the mark, period. Do you uh, periodically hit the forums uh, to try to, uh, do you, uh, you know, I mean, periodically hit the forums to try to keep up what's going on with the gossip? I mean, or do you just pretty much try to insulate yourself from that stuff? Pretty well distant. If someone sends me something and say, take a look at this and I'll read it. And if it's, like I said, complete bold, then I will contact the person themselves, not do it in the forum, but contact themselves, look, guy, or look, woman, or whatever the case may be. Okay. You need to get this straight. And DMCA's. How are you going to handle DMCA's? Well, DMCA's is a little different for us because our servers are based in Europe. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit different. And I'm worried about the DNCs at this point because some people are using them as weapons, not as actual claims. So I have to be – because I've had – I had one come in last week, yelling and screaming that was her building. And I know for a fact that I built that sucker from prim up. But I think she was just trying to mess with me or just caused me some grief. So – I have to be very careful because I've seen it in SL where someone will say, you know, that shop's got all my stuff, and in reality they didn't. But in the meantime, between times, SL has shut them down to find out what the complaint is all about. Uh, yeah. And then turn around and say, oh, we made a mistake. But meanwhile, Buddy Shop's done. He's gone because he couldn't. His reputation's crap. We uh, I, That gone. happened to us. I mean... We had a template shop, and it made a great a great deal of money, a full perm mm-hmm. template shop. And uh, somebody came in and said, hey, this is our template. You know what? Uh, no, you're wrong. Gimped every one of those guys. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You know, exactly. I'll 200 of those things. Trust me. I have I have more gray hair from that than you'll ever know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and uh, I said, you know what? I'll see you in court. And, and yeah. this will go real life. And you know what? They went away. They went away. Of course they did because they were just trying to mess with you. You had taken the market that they wanted. So they filed a, a DMC, and you got like you got nothing but grief over it. And then your name is crap because people like drama. So they're going to believe the bad stuff before they'll ever believe the good stuff. It's human nature. It can't be changed. It, it sells. It sells tabloids. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, the, I've learned. A, I learned a lot, Leslie. And, and I'll be honest with you. I really think this is something we need to get out because I came here and I didn't know the stuff that I'm hearing right now. Okay. And it makes me even fall more in love with this grid. Okay? <laughs> We're here to help. We're and, here and, to be cool. and I'm not a person that abandons ships. Trust me. I'm, I'm not, you know, and, mm-hmm. uh, and, and if somebody says they can come in and just crash a sim, trust me, it's not as easy as people think. In our closing moments here, uh, is there something you would like to tell the people of Tangle? Yes. Um, not so much that I thank them all, but I appreciate who they are. I appreciate what they've contributed to this grid. I can appreciate them for being here through the good and the bad times. 
And the, to me, they're like family. And anyone who comes into Tango, knows me, knows of the crew, would say the same. We're a fun-loving family kind of grid. Uh, the people here are top-notch. You couldn't ask for better residents living here. And they open you. They will welcome you with open arms. They will help you any way they can, just like our crew will, our staff, if you will. And I want to thank them all for being here th- with us to make Grid Ten Grid what it is today. You guys are super. I love you all. And thank you, Adam, for inviting me to this interview. And um, I'm hoping that you get lots of hits. Yeah. Well, getting the hits. <laughs> That's my problem, and uh, you want to know what? People subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Reach down there and hit that little button, and uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, these people here at Tangle, they live and sleep and protect your stuff. They're about security. It's uh, they, have, they have serious blade servers. Don't kid me. And I'll tell you what. Uh, it's a very stable system here. They're using only the stablest of the open sims. Yes. And uh, there's... People think new is better. It's not. It's what no. works. So uh, I wanted to thank you for this time. And uh, you are a brilliant woman. And and and, and Mr. Kling, I, I hope uh, I get to get to maybe sit down with him one of these times and uh, and uh, talk about what's going on in the garage. <laughs> 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 uh, if you say that this, you mentioned this is Leslie's first and only interview, you, you'd be surprised how many hits you're going to get, I think. <laughs> because this is my first. And uh, I don't see a well, – where's the bottle of champagne? But oh, well, next time. Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> this has been great. And we'll, uh, we'll try to get back here and do this, uh, say, in another month and see what uh, Leslie has to tell us. Yeah, That's right. maybe get some new projects. Get some new projects in the hopper. Maybe they'll be up and running by then. There you go. We're out of here.